So the other day I rewatched Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and I loved it. It tied into the last one really well, it had a great storyline and that's just to put into a summary. It was great. But I was surprised when I found out that not many people liked this movie for some reason. On Rotten Tomatoes it has an 83% which is really good for a film and while you're looking on Rotten Tomatoes it seems like most of the reviews were positive. So I thought that I'd give my take on the movie and it started off with the things that I enjoyed. Now this movie came out one year after The Philosopher's Stone. So they basically finished filming the first one and then moved on to the Chamber of Secrets. So there really wasn't a lot of time in between. And I think the child actors now had a real idea of how big this franchise was going to be. And you can tell in their performance that each kid has stepped it up for this movie. And you can also tell that their characters have changed, especially Harry. I really enjoyed seeing his character develop in this movie, from questioning if he should be in Slytherin to his connection to Voldemort. This movie's screenplay is also really well written and set out, and they stuck to the book for most of it and made a really compelling story that keeps you on the edge of your seat, and making you question things like, who opened the Chamber of Secrets? Why can Harry speak Parseltongue? Is Harry the heir of Slytherin? Is Hagrid guilty? What is the monster? Things like that that really make you want to know what happens next. And then at the end they give us a twist ending and it reveals that, spoilers, that Ginny was the one who unknowingly opened the Chamber of Secrets with the help of Voldemort. And I felt like this movie had more of a mystery kind of feel to it and more of a storyline. The last movie was setting up this world and new characters, but now they have all of this set up. They can add new elements, but have more of a storyline to it. And now with all of the beginning out of the way, they can focus on raising the stakes and setting up the story and the characters. But it does do some incredibly important things that at the time of watching and even reading the books, we didn't even know were going to be important yet. Like the first Horcrux being destroyed, they teased Harry and Ginny's future relationship for later films. They also gave us some backstory on the school and how it was made, and even scenes including Voldemort's backstory. So this movie is jammed packed full of action, mystery, backstory, and even comedy, because there are some laugh out loud moments in this movie. And I also must mention that this movie has some great effects in it and did a good job of combining CGI green screen with real life sets and puppeteering. And I mean, some of the effects still look a bit fake, like the Quidditch. Um, it does look better than the last movie, but still looks a tiny bit fake. But they made practical things like the Basilisk and massive animatronics um, and combining CGI. But a lot of the things like the spiders and forks were actually puppets and animatronics and it really just makes it come to life. So overall when watching this movie again I was very impressed with all of its written storylines and plots and characters and so many amazing action scenes like the dark forest, driving the car, the scenes with the chamber of secrets and Harry battling it out with a basilisk with the sword just makes for such a great Harry Potter movie. And it's probably one of my favourites, and a reason why it's one of my favourites, and it's not just because of the well-written story, it's because of those little details that they put in the movie, like little Easter eggs, so that the fans of the franchise can spot them out and go, "Huh, oh, that's from the book, because there are a lot of details that they don't include in the movie, and they're just little subtle hints to the book, and the sets, it's really how you picture it, like, when you read the book and then you watch the movie, that's how you would have pictured it, and the characters and the costume design, it, they really did pay a lot of attention to detail. So why do people not like this movie, and why do people think it's the worst one? Because this movie is far from the worst Harry Potter movie. Now, I said that before that this movie stuck to the book very well, and I didn't really miss any big scenes or moments from the book. And I'm very glad that they did stick to the book, but when they do, it makes for a very very long movie. In fact, this is the longest movie in the Harry Potter series, clocking in at 2 hours and 54 minutes, making it the longest by far. And if you think that's long, you should check out the deleted scenes, because they also had to cut out quite a bit as well. But do I think this movie being long affects the story and makes it the worst one? No, I don't. Look at Avengers Endgame, for example. Now that movie is the highest grossing movie of all time and that goes for over three hours and people still love it. So no, I don't think that the runtime affects this movie and makes it bad. But I guess they could have cut a few things when adapting this book to a movie 
And there are a few things in the movie that aren't great, but they're really little and they don't affect the movie for me. And I don't think those little things should affect it overall. Because this movie has a really nice magical feel to it, which was important. And with this magical feel, it's good because it starts to get darker in the other films and they start to mature and the child actors get older and it goes into more dark themes, making it a bit different from the following films and less connected. But I do think Chris Columbus did a great job of making this film come to life and really working closely with the child actors and the adult actors and trying to pull off the whole thing. And it got me wondering, what if he decided to stay on for the rest of the franchise? And how would if the films changed? But I do really like his way of filmmaking, and he did a great job of setting up the child actors for the rest of the movies, and turning them into great actors. And overall, I really love this movie. It's one of my favourite Harry Potter movies, and I hope this video will make you see that this film does a great job of making an action-packed, fun Harry Potter movie that is somehow underrated. Thank you so much for watching this video, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you next Friday.